So I've been watching this guy's videos. His name is Mike Shake. And he'll just like learn a new skill in a week. And that's the video. Like a kickflip, for example. Just from scratch, he'll learn a kickflip with no experience. And that's it. And that it's, it's just inspiring me. And so I want to steal it. No, I'm kidding. I want, I'm inspired by this and I wanted to shut him out and also try my own. So I'm gonna learn how to play the ukulele in seven days. My goal, if I choose to accept it, which I do, is to learn how to play, write a riff, record it, and then make a beat with it. And maybe a song too, all in seven days. Holy fuck, can he do it? The first day I was actually off to a pretty good start because I didn't realize I had someone in the house with me, my fiance, that already had like a lot of ukulele talent. Oh, they hated it. <laughs> First thing you gotta do, I guess, is tune it. What is in here? That's, that's where the magic comes from, right there. That's the music, right there. Once it's tuned, you just learn how to strum, and then there's basically four chords that you need to learn, and then you can play like every song in the world, pretty much. Party walk is in the house tonight. And that there, folks, is my new life goal, to play LMFAO on the ukulele. The four chords that I had to learn were C, G, F, and A minor. And once I had two of them, I was like kind of already laying down slapperooskies. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. After like an hour of practicing, I kind of felt like I was getting the hang of it. But I remembered it's important to stay humble. Ha-ha! <laughs> Suck it! My fingers started to hurt, so I had to take a little break and let the skills fester in my brain for a sec. And despite my smooth, fragile hands, I woke up the next morning and kept practicing. Here comes the sun, Here comes the sun, I will help you learn to play D chord. We start with orange if you don't have your thumb. The most important thing by far uh, about practicing is resisting distraction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like this video immediately or I never pet my cat again. The choice is yours. I did actually end up practicing a fair amount. Enough so that I felt comfortable putting a little concert on later on in the day when I got back from the gym. Yeah, Wednesday mornings at the household, you know, this is how we do it. Wednesday mornings, <laughs> Venice, sun beating down, feeling amazing. I actually did end up practicing a shit ton, and as much as I'm fucking around right now, I actually felt like I was getting a lot better. Just picture Jason Raz. singing it properly but that's it i was just fucking jamming there i was jamming that was a jam sesh i don't care what you say i mean i was going i didn't make a single mistake for like a minute picture picture that like around a fire and i'm just like what's this who brought this and everyone's like you did man you brought that and i'm like what i've never i've never even seen this yes, I you have. Know. You I brought that. we one. know you brought it we saw you there we go you brought that i saw you there have goes. it in the car you brought it out of the car yeah. before I missed that note right You're there. You're not good at this, dude. Like, does he always do this? Yeah, he does. It's so annoying. Come on! Don't, sing, so don't start singing. Oh, 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 here he goes. The next day, I was feeling pretty confident, so I started making a beat. So I recorded something, fucked around with it for a bit, came back, and realized that it was ass. It sounds pretty shitty. This is a very important part of the creative process. Step one, make something. Step two, Realize it's ass. Luckily though, I was able to salvage the session with my angelic vocals. But even that actually couldn't save it because I couldn't make my recording sound good. So I practiced, practiced, and practiced some more. And just when I thought I wasn't getting better, I had a very, very important breakthrough. I know I joked about this before, but check this shit out. The rock is in the house tonight. Just have a... 
Ow, fuck. Oh, my shit's cramping hard. Oh my God. That's right, I played LMFAO so hard, I nearly injured myself. You think this shit is easy? It's, it's an amazing challenge. At this point, I felt confident enough to try and record myself again. But again, just couldn't make anything that sounded even remotely good or even passable. So I was kind of like, I was just gonna give up, honestly. I was like, fuck this video, this is a lost cause, you know? At least I can show Kelsey some of the new songs I've learned, and that's it, you know? Then we'll put a rest to it. Our dog's dick was out. Probably because LMFAO makes everybody in the room horny. Anyways, you can probably tell this video, not really going anywhere. Until the next day where I woke up and felt very inspired. I thought, it's time to make a fucking beat. Every ukulele beat that I've seen is always like really happy. I mean, obviously it's a happy instrument, but it's always like, it's always like, it feels like I'm like, frolicking through a field or like a beach or something like that. So it'd be funny to make a song in that style about how I feel like shit and I don't want to go outside. Ooh, that could be the one. So I'm gonna try and add like a layer. That was sick. How did I do that? Let me just remind you one more time. When you reach a breakthrough like this in the learning curve, the most important thing is to remain humble. Ha, I fucked that up. I fucked it up. Woo! What's up now? What's up? Just fucked you up. After like six days of practice, I was finally able to record what I wanted to record. And then I just made a couple little extra tweaks to the beat. It didn't take me that long. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my God, I've been working on this song for three hours. <laughs> I totally forgot I was filming. What is this ridiculous fucking song that I just made? Whatever, at least I played the instrument in it. That's what this is all about. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna go shoot a music video for this now, so. Um, but you know, by the time you're watching it, it's already edited, so uh, here it is. <laughs> folks i made the dumbest song on planet earth to prove that i have learned a new skill and to prove that you can too all it takes is a little practice and 
and some inspiration from one of the greatest bands to ever do it. I'm not even going to look at a ukulele for a month or two. But I hope maybe this inspires you to pick up something, learn something. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, before I end this, I got to check with one other person to see what he thought. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. I, I just finished watching the video. Yeah. What did you think? Beautiful. It was beautiful, man. All the time had a smile on my face. Oh, really? It was great. Yeah, man. I love the process. All right. Good. It was yeah. beautiful. Because I, I've, been watching, I've been watching your videos like literally nonstop. Just because I'm like, they're so simple, but like so much fun to watch because you still tell a story. And I love watching people like conquer the learning curve. I don't know. Something about that like resonates with me because I love learning new shit. So I was yeah, like, nice. I, want, I was inspired. So I decided to do it. But I wanted to like, I mean, obviously I, it ended up being like ridiculously weird that I made a song about this random <laughs> band. But, <laughs> you know, that's just like I got I had to put my spin on it somehow, you know. It was great, man. I loved it, and I'm so familiar with the process, man. That's what I really like about it. Is that, I don't know, every single time you try try some random stuff, it's always the same exact feeling, and I loved it. Yeah. I really love it. The first time we tried to learn something was the backflip. Yeah. And after practicing for a few days and getting super close, I basically landed on my face. I almost died there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the weird... And the weird thing it was that I, I don't know, I fell in love with the process, man. It's, it's great. It's hard. And you need to put yourself in it. And if you don't give up, you actually get whatever you want. And in, every single time, it's basically the same. So, so yeah, that's, I don't know, that's what I want to prove. And I am super happy that you made a video about it because you proved it too. Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, if you, as long as you put in the practice, you can literally achieve whatever you want. And that's, I don't know, it's just magic it's great we got to learn something the two of us and then maybe we could like compete or something that would be great man yeah let's do it nunchucks or something oh yeah i already tried those but, okay but oh, yeah if you want. all right so you got a leg up then so no i can't did you know who lmfao was the band like were they big in italy Oh, yeah, obviously, I know that. Okay, okay, I, I know that. Okay. Yeah, that was super popular, like, a few years ago, but it was great. All right, good. I'm glad you liked it, man. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Keep making your videos. Keep doing what you're doing because they're inspiring. Thank you very much, man. Yeah. It, Peace, it was bro. great. Congrats. Peace, man. Bye, good man. to meet you. Thank you very much. Bye. All right, there you have it. Mike Shake is a fellow party rocker. <laughs> I ain't got time to go out. Cause I'm occupied Just sitting waiting Just give me a sign That I'll be fine Cause it's feeling like I'm fading, fading Hey yo, shouts to my boy Sky Blue I'm fading, fading Shouts to my boy Red Foo I could LMFA on myself.